what do you think the chances are of, you know, another executive order 6102 when it comes to global Bitcoin adoption? You think that's possible or likely or unlikely? Well, certainly possible. I mean, you just said it right. There's precedent for it. Um, I do think it's going to be very difficult to enforce. Uh, again, if you're leaving your assets with a centralized custodian, you're going to be the one that gets hit with something like that. Should it come to pass? Because there's so much more juice for the squeeze when the U S only has to seize Coinbase, right. Versus trying to go and seize individual self custody. Like this is way too much enforcement effort to the point of it not being profitable. Whereas you, you could just seize Coinbase and, you know, capture 10 million people's accounts or whatever the number is. Um, so yeah, it's definitely possible. I would say it becomes even probable at a point when we actually start to see currencies failing, right? The backstop for states today is, well, they can always just print currency to cover, to cover the gaps, right? If, You've got a deficit, well, you just paper over it with the printing press. But if the Bitcoin thesis continues to play out and a lot of purchasing power is migrating into Bitcoin and away from fiat currencies, this diminishes the ability for states to print their way out of uh, deficits, let's say. And with that comes... When they can't do that anymore, they're going to be increasingly desperate. All right, so the state, there's going to come a point where the state is less concerned with its revenue now because, it, again, it can always just print new money. It can always close the gap. But as soon as that option starts to go away, it becomes much more like a normal business that's concerned with increasing its top line. And so when inflation goes away as a revenue option, then taxation is all that remains. So you'd expect to see, you know, capital gains taxes go up, property taxes, et cetera, et cetera. And when that, when they start to exhaust the market in that way too, because as you increase tax rates, there's sort of this, if you've heard of the Laffer curve, you actually decrease tax revenues in the long run because the market just works around it. You're, you're another way to say this, and this is axiomatic in Austrian economics, is that theft reduces productivity. So every hour that human beings spend stealing from other human beings is an hour not spent being productive. And so as you increase taxation, which is theft, you're increasing the rate of theft, you're decreasing productivity in the marketplace. So you're, although you would expect tax revenue to increase with increased tax rates, in the long run, it's actually the opposite effect. It decreases tax revenue. So as states lose the printer as a revenue option and taxation, increasing tax rates is not going to necessarily increase the top line, then they're going to get really desperate and they'll start employing more exotic measures like Executive Order 6102. Um, now, even with Executive Order 6102, they did not go door to door and try to confiscate individuals' physical gold holdings. They did go to large centralized custodians and say that all this gold that belonged to these 10,000 people is ours now. So if anything, it once again highlights the dangers of using a central custodian for Bitcoin. But for those of us that are in self-custody, I don't think you've got much to worry about. Um, the possibility, there's the possibility you'd, you'd have to become, you would become a dissident effectively because there would be a federal law passed that you would not comply with but I would argue strongly that that law is unjust and unethical. Right? You're telling people they can't own information. It's like, not not own information. You're telling people that they can't have a secret. That's all Bitcoin is, right? It's like Eric Kaysen was on the show recently. He's like, you're holding a private key. It's just about keeping a secret. And if you outlaw secret keeping, I don't know what kind of world that is, but not one that I'm interested in. So, Yeah. I agree. It would not be a great world to live in and I hope it doesn't come to that, but it is possible as you mentioned and, and potentially could play out like that.